How's it going guys? Um, today's uh, look, uh, subwoofer look is the uh, Cambridge Audio Minx 200 subwoofer. Um, this is a, a British made um, uh, compact subwoofer that comes in various models. I think there's a Minx 200, there's a Minx 300 as well. And the uh, newer models are surpassed by the 201 and 301. Um, quite a decent uh, subwoofer very nice finish to it you can get them in different colors the one I've got now is in white it's got a beautiful la lovely white lacquer finish white gloss finish to the subwoofer itself very compact for what it is the Minx 200 is a 200 wood um, 200 watt subwoofer uh, with a single active driver in the front uh, that's usually mounted on uh, with the um, grill uh, at the front and it's got two passive uh, radiators one on the left and uh, uh, the right of the subwoofer depending on your orientation um, it's got the uh, aluminium uh, type of finish cone to it whereas the front um, seems to have a hot plastic type of finish to it or it might even be you know painted aluminium nevertheless <coughs> the subwoofer is actually very very compact this is uh, a, a, what seems to be a six inch uh, subwoofer um, very compact dimension wise you're looking at approximately uh, 23 perhaps even 22 um, uh, centimeters in depth front to back uh, width we're looking at is um, also around 21 centimeters and height excluding the feet we're looking at around 21 cent 21 centimeters as well so very compact uh, nicely finished uh, subwoofer let's give you a look at the plate amp at the back good thing about this is it's got the volume uh, volume knob you've got the phase switch which is um, uh, you know you, you can choose which phase you want in between 0 to 180 degrees as opposed to just 0 and 180 as some subwoofers have this is switch you've got a frequency crossover the nice thing about this is that this subwoofer normally comes with the minx uh, um, satellite speakers if you've got the dual driver you just put it on that and that'll automatically um, give you the, the frequency um, uh, that's needed for the subwoofer to run with the, the larger satellite or with the single satellite, which is pretty good. Um, nice finish to the subwoofer itself. When you switch it on, it's got a, a blue uh, flashing LED, uh, which is really good. Also can be done on standby. Um, you've got the audio input, output, your low frequency input there. Um, the nice thing about this is that if you are in the US or have a place where you have a 110 volt power supply, you've got the toggle switch which you can use, which I find pretty good. Um, and yeah, the more important thing is I wanted to show you the insides of it just to give you an idea of what the subwoofer is like. So I've taken off most of the screws already in preparation for this. Um, this isn't a base test uh, video, so for those of you who wanted to see what the base test is like, unfortunately, look elsewhere, or if I have the time, I'll. Um, try and do uh, a video of that so when you remove the plate amp now surprisingly the plate amp itself has a lot of chips and diodes in it it's, it's got a proper circuit board on it um, and you can tell what I see what I mean when I talk about the, the insides of it uh, big ICs you can see that the chipboard itself is is quite high tech I, I, I mean this is beyond my uh, expertise so I wouldn't be able to tell you what they what each of those does uh, but you can have a look at the uh, chipboard on the inside. I think that um, suggests there's a fair amount of tech and, and uh, thought that's gone into this um, subwoofer. Um, and yeah, so on the inside, you'd expect, you know, compared to looking at the finish on the outside for the inside to be a lot neater, but you can see they don't really pay much attention to that. And, um, you know, um, look at finishing it off inside the workmanship is okay it's made of mdf as you can see uh, the passive radiators are just screwed on you can see the, the grill and i suspect that the screws are if you had to remove the outer surround rim you'd have the screws to be able to remove the passive drivers and that is the active subwoofer on the inside hopefully you'll be able to see that clearly enough um yeah like i said very compact there's no real uh, space let alone maybe thought to put in for any soundproofing or, or sponge inside um, the corners of it are just braced on the far end with those little V um, uh, um, uh, perpendicular or L-shaped sort of um, uh, triangle pegs um, but that's about the only bracing that this um, cabinet has anyway I hope you found that useful 
um, just to show you the inside of the um, Cambridge Audio Minx uh, 200 subwoofer. Thank you very much.